dead. The last season, we're on episode three. Let's get started. This is Broken Toys. I'm not gonna talk as much throughout the, you know, the videos. Previously, so I hope you guys enjoy. The dead. While searching for a place to call home, AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep in the forest. Their leader was a guy named Marlin. And AJ pulled the trigger. I told AJ that what he'd done was murder, that he'd have to atone for it. The other kids agreed. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. We were almost eaten by walkers, when suddenly, one of them spoke to me. His name was James, an ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. He helped me treat AJ, but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ, and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay. At least, until the fight. I decided to help Violet in the bell tower. We looked at the stars together. And I admitted I had feelings for her. She felt the same way. Then the raiders finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until Ten ran out of cover, hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off. And attempting to save Ten, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. With only a second to decide, I fired and saved Violet. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone. But we knew someone who did. Oh, really? Like, this game, you know, it can hit a lot of ways, is what I mean, is different ways to approach it, I guess. Damn, the gates are just gone. Mitch is gone. At the start, I was so little. And, and Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes. But he was always nice to me. Now he's gone. Stabbed in the eye by some who never even knew his name. Look, I promise you, Willie, the people who did this, we're going to hit them back. They're gonna regret ever coming near us. Exactly. If Mitch were here, he wouldn't cry. He'd find a way to get our friends back. Bash Lily's brains out with a rock. Hey, AJ's waiting for you in the basement. We got Abel tied up tight. He's alive, but he's out cold. Thanks. We should bury Mitch. It's time. I'll help you carry- Get away from him! 
You're the reason he's dead! Willie! Well, it's true! We had a plan, and that idiot messed it up! Come on, Willie. None of this is Ten's fault. You know who's really to blame. I can't believe you're defending him! This... This is bullshit! Ten! I'll take care of this. Talk to Abel, find out where Lily took Lewis, Omar, and a sim. And Clem, don't be afraid to, you know, hurt him a little. Maybe you'll get more out of him than we did. Oh, we're gonna hurt him a lot. Interrogate Abel. Okay. Uh, look at duct tape. Should be strong enough to hold him. That's the blood. Got your gun back, huh? Uh huh. Ready? Ready he'll ever be. Wake him up. I'll let AJ, you know, wake him up. Wake up, stupid shitting <gasps> fuckhead. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> well. <clears throat> It ain't no way to wake an old man up from his afternoon nap. I was having a nice dream, too. About a girl I used to know from before. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't her prisoner, if you get my meaning. <laughs> Got any water? Drink. Had your water. Now it's time to talk. It's the first time interrogating someone, isn't it? <laughs> you let me dictate the agenda. Makes me think you're weak. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's gonna turn around and come right back for me. <laughs> you better give me the five-star treatment. If I'm smiling when she gets here, you might be able to trade me for a little mercy. You think Lily would come back for you? Look at the state you're in. You're worthless to her now. I can heal. There is no rescue party, Abel. Only a bunch of pissed off kids who want you dead. So tell us where our friends are. You trade it for mercy. <coughs> Lily will never give them. The only reason we came here was for more manpower. Losing Jonathan and me, for three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. From Richmond to the coast. Back in the Delta, we're at war. With some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say. Point the guns the way we tell them to. That's called kidnapping. Give it whatever name you want. I call it survival. What kind of place is this Delta if they use forced labor to defend it? You think we like doing raids like this? Our home is under threat. It's a good home. Built to last. I'd do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. And I do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. 
Okay. Front pocket. The answer to all your questions. Read it. Whatsoever parteth the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and cheweth the cud, among the beasts, that shall ye eat? What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be some timely, moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? The smoke will clear my mind. Or probably kill you. Help me remember stuff. Like where Lily went. Come on, kid. Don't make me wait all day. I'm gonna do this. You little bitch! I'm out of patience, Abel. Tell me where Lily went. Yeah. Now! <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of blood. Oh, fuck. This is not good. He's gonna die, isn't he? Yep. I hope so. And I hope he suffers every moment till he does. Yeah. You're gonna get your wish. When you push me off that balcony, something must have burst inside of me. Shit. I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No! <clears throat> My, my whole life, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will for my body to turn on me, to take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise you won't let me turn. <laughs> I'm begging you. Uh, what do I say? I guess give him your if word. You're honest with me, I'll put you out of your misery. You have my word. Okay, we have a boat. We're docked a few miles west of here at an old fishing pier. Your friends are on the boat. <laughs> you, you got what you wanted. Please. Don't let me become one of those things. Please. I don't want to turn. Mercy kill. Just let him. Let's just, you know, let's just do it. Not that. I want to let me keep my face. You don't need to watch this. I want to. Um... Right in the dimple. At least you can't hurt anyone anymore. Yeah. Come on, we have a boat to find. What is going on with AJ? That's what I want to know.
Keep her going. Just for one thing, I you know I hate about this. It takes a little bit longer than normal each episode to load. Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. Okay, you two. It wasn't Ten's fault. Yes, it was. Mitch died because he... Say one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Guys, look. We need to work as a team. See anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay, let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. Spy on the raiders. Okay. Talk to Violet. You ever seen this boat before? No. Marlin kept us confined to the safe zone. Pier leading up to the boat? It's our only way in and out. Well, let's see what else is down there. Mm. Look at there are a Raiders. Few on deck. A couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Looks like they're well armed too. Lewis. Abel wasn't lying. This is it. All right. What else do we have to look at? Uh, examine the pier. Has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. Um. And now we got the examine the entrance. I see an entrance. I saw that too. It looks like there's a door at the other end. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. Anything else? Yep. Inspect pilot. I don't pilot. see any obvious place to keep prisoners. They're probably below deck. We should have asked Abel. When he said on a boat, I didn't think it'd be this big. It's pretty big. Um, there's got to be something else. Right there. There's no good cover leading up to the boat. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Walkers! Maybe if we could get walkers on the beach somehow. Maybe not as hard as you'd think. Alrighty. What is Mitch got for? Is this Mitch or no? This is Willie. Anything useful? Looks like building material, furniture, probably stuff from the train station. 
examine the rafters. Is with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river easy. Uh, look at supplies. Yeah, wood and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. Uh, look at torches. Huh. Are those torches? Maybe. Why? We could use the fire. So they have torches, they have a bunch of supplies, and they have a big be big boat. Got it. Alright, AJ's over here. Find anything over here? They have horses. Let me see. Uh, look at torches. torches. Setting the hay on fire would get their attention. Scare the horses, too. We could get on the boat easier that way. Uh... If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. Yeah? We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. I hope we don't get spotted. And I have a feeling we're going to get spotted. What's the plan? Well, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. But I'd rather steal those supplies. I can burn the traps. hay. Yeah, burn Weapons. the hay. Yeah, we'll steal their supplies and burn the hay as our distraction. If you're going to steal from the rafts, you have to do it carefully. Wouldn't do it any other way. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot. Obviously, they you will remember shoot. Remember that guy I told you about, James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. Perfect. What about after we get everyone home? I mean, the raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick! Exactly. Moving. A raider has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. Drop it. How many of you are there? How many of who? I'm not fucking around. Answer the question. Eight. There's eight. Clementine, eight of you. Wait. That. That's many. Holy shit. After the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean. I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Brody? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um... She died. Ten's boots holding up okay? His boots? They're so old, they're more holes than rubber. 
I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. I didn't ask to be put in charge. It just sort of happened. Is that the kind of wishy-washy bullshit you say to everyone back home or just me? Excuse me? Abel figured he could talk Marlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did... But... Like they did before. You ruined the whole plan. But the hell he gave you and Sophie away? Yeah, and we all survived it. Marlin would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. Minnie, you're wrong. Glenn protected us. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. He murdered Brody. What? She alive? She... She died protecting the Delta. A hero. She's... A hero? God, you're Nerva! Shit. Rockingham! Finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Yes, ma'am. That's good old Lily. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're going to save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. If Ten could see you now, he'd be ashamed to call you his sister. I think I said the wrong thing, really. Are you okay? Nothing's changed. Our plan is to get onto the boat and save our friends. So that's what we're gonna do. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except Ten. I warned you. Enough, both of you. AJ and I will go find James. Good luck. Hopefully James is, is in the same spot. Hopefully. So, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? Clem, I don't... Uh, ow. Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Here, let's rest a second. It's been a while since they've been out, though. Clem... I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. He was being mean. Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. I tried breathing, kicking rocks. Let the anger like pass. This feeling. Wanting to hurt somebody? I know it's hard, AJ, but thoughts like that, they go away. You just have to give it time. Uh, waiting's hard. I'm just thinking too much. Like, 
I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. But he just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Well, the other kids haven't had it as hard as we've had. We had to make a lot of mistakes to learn what we know. Yeah. I guess, but Tin's mistakes are just so bad. Maybe he'll learn from them too, like we did. It's exactly. weird that people are so different. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you? I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. Is there just not a way to get rid of it? Because that would really suck. I still like them. I like Tim the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Oh yeah? I thought I was your first real friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. <laughs> Am not. Fine. <laughs> he's my second first real friend. I might have forgotten a choice back there. I wasn't really paying attention. Alrighty. We gotta push forward. See James, just monsters. <clears throat> James, you're hurt. Did the Raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw were going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. Maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them, the walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. Yeah, I'll try to try to distract. It's not that easy. I gotta just, you know, stun them as long as I can. Well, damn it. I'm dead. I'm dead. Never turn your back. Just, you know, never turn your back.
This is a lot of them. There we go. I don't know how long I can keep this up. Did you find your mask? I can't find it. The horses must have... There! Oh, shit. We have to run. Hey! Over here! AJ! No! There are too many of them! The cart. If we push it, the noise will draw them away. Exactly. Oh shit. I'm surprised that worked. AJ, are you okay? Yeah, no bites. I know it would have been easier to kill them. You're kind. I appreciate it. Really. You're welcome, James. Thank you for helping me get this back. Now, how will Walker save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. It's our only chance. I have something I need you to see, so you can understand what you're asking. James! We still need his help, right? Yeah, we do. Yep. Man, these walkers look like shit. It's safe. Just a little further. What is that? What is this? My people. My former people, they had a practice. They called it collecting. Jeez. They used them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do. As people. As people? Well, not people exactly, but <sighs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. Deep down. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead, not alive. I wish I could see it that way. It'd be nice to think that everyone isn't actually gone. In a way, they're just lost. Yep. But, Do you, you really know. think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. As someone you cared about turned. Clem's friend, Lee. She let him. 
because he was too important to her. Do you really think there's nothing left of who he was? Maybe. I guess it's kind of nice to think that the something that made Lee, Lee, is still out there. Even if it's not the way he was before. Yeah. I think so, too. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone, they're harmless. Innocent. If you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. Then tell me if you really believe they're just monsters. They are just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem. She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. I'll be fine, AJ. I'm doing this, okay? I... <sighs> okay, fine. It might be a useful strategy to get into, you know, the base. The first rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. Find the exit. I will. Don't let fear take over. I will. I promise. All these little rules. Kind of remind me of the movie Zombieland, in a way. The mask will disguise your scent, but be gentle and be quiet. Touch the wind chime. You'll see. Push the door open. The wind chime is right there. close. I was literally holding my breath there for a minute. kiddo <laughs> it's all right I'm fine see no bites no bites no bites so do you still think they're just monsters now that you've seen them at peace I I think you might be right about there being something more to them it was kind of nice in there really never met someone who understood it's thank you I'm glad have you ever killed a walker before I have many have you ever killed a person many many but that was a long time ago I've killed someone before, too. AJ. You've killed someone? 
Yeah. I'm a murderer. But I'm trying to atone. Well, that's good. I guess. <sighs> that's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? Please, I thought James. I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. Oh, the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine, but I can't have more blood on my hands. James, the walker in the barn, the one with the different eyes, what was his name? His name? What do you... How about the woman in the back, near the wind chimes? What's her name? I... I don't know. Asim. Omar. Lewis. Those are the names of my friends, the ones who were stolen by the raiders. I'll never forget that. Exactly. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. Yay, I think he might Those help raiders us. are cruel. They force others to be the same. And if your friends are anything like you, I don't doubt they're worth saving. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. You said there might be people inside walkers. Did you mean it? Is he right? Uh... Well, we can't know for sure. <laughs> Maybe he's right. Death might not be like we thought before the world turned like this. Maybe something is left after we die. Ugh, that sounds weird. But... If you believe it... I do too. Thank you, AJ. Come on, AJ. Let's get back before it's too dark. <laughs>